Uh, hi everyone, in this tutorial we will talk about interaction between the two particles in free space versus in solvent. So suppose if we have two particles and they are at distance r from each other then there will be an interaction between them and that interaction suppose is w, w r. So w is the function of uh, the distance between the two and the force of this interaction will be equal to uh, w and if we differentiate it so that will be equal to the force so now this interaction will change if we dissolve them into the solvent and that is called the solvent effect so how does this interaction changes and there could be many reasons for the interaction to change so one reason is one so let's take example so this particle when they go into the solvent then on the solvent they, they might be a higher interaction of the solvent with the solute so suppose they are very very hydrophilic and this is the water and they are very very hydrophilic so if they are very hydrophilic then this particle will have uh, the water molecules on its surface and then when they try to come closer to each other so suppose this this particle when tried to come very close to each other then because of this uh, molecules water molecules which are attached to the surface of this particle they will not be able to come very very close because their surface is occupied by the water molecules and this is called the steric steric uh, repulsion so what where is the example for this steric repulsion so let's take the uh, example of lipids so as you know that the lipid molecules are amphiphilic molecules and they have uh, their head is uh, hydrophobic hydrophilic and their tails are hydrophobic so when you dissolve them in water then this this heads so so because of the hydrophobic interaction they want to protect their acyl chains away uh, from the water so they they self assemble into this kind of structure and their head groups are hydrated so like this because the head groups are hydrophilic so they like water so when so now they want to come closer to each other because of the uh, interaction, hydrophobic uh, interaction and also the Van der Waal interaction between the acyl chains. However, because of the water molecules on the surface, they can't come very, very close. So there will be a steric repulsion between them. So this is, so there will be a force. So here there will be attraction, but here there will be a repulsion because of this. And then this is the example of the steric repulsion so this is how your interaction changes when something is dissolved in a solvent as compared to uh, undissolved the second um, uh, possibility of solvent interaction uh, or the effect of the solvent is the change in the charge density so suppose if we have a, a, a particle which has a h group on it so when you dissolve it so this is a particle this is not o this is the particle so when you dissolve it into the water then it might lose the H and it become it, it lose the H and become negatively charged. So when it become negatively charged, so let me give it a color here. So so this is a negatively charged molecule. So so if 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 you dissolve particles like this, so then they will have uh, a different interaction between them so they will show repulsion because now they are charged so there are many things which can change the charge or the dipole and that will change the interaction between the two particles so this is this is also one of the solvent effects so solvent effect due to change in in charge or dipole third possibility is the perturbation so suppose now so the, so you have a solvent which is aligned in its particular direction and when you dissolve your solute particles then your solvent is perturbed so they change their orientation now and that cost energy so when this uh, this particles try to come closer to each other then the degree of perturbation can increase 
and if that increases then there will be a energy cost for them to come closer and that will also change their interaction so this is the third region so this is uh, perturbations so perturbation can also result in the solvent effect and then there is another example so when you have to dissolve some particle into the solvent then you have to displace a lot of volume for example let's take a, a bubble so if there is a bubble of gas and dissolves into the water then it will take a space and because all these water molecules they are they they like each other a lot and they have to separate from each other because of this bubble so now this particle which would have been closer to this particle was now separated because of this gas and this will result in a lot of surface tension because no water wants to be uh, exposed to the gas so this will cause a lot of surface tension uh, here and now if you have two particles like this dissolved then this two particles will have excess surface area and they will better go and coalesce and make a bigger particle because that will result in a lower surface area so this will be uh, so the surface area is uh, so if you talk about surface area then this one has greater surface area than this one and that's why it will uh, spontaneously go from uh, two bubbles to one bubble and therefore we can say that again now here to minimize the surface tension the uh, the interaction between the two bubble particles changed and this is uh, they are these are few of the example of how does the solvent will change the interaction between the two particles and we call it as a solvent effect so i hope this small uh, tutorial would have helped and i'll see you later then thank you